705 is where we cover interconnection of power systems, right? And so we've had existing requirements for where you connect a utility interactive inverter, say from solar or wind or some other renewable, and you connect it on the load side of the service. So how you do that safely has been really sort of spelled out in the code. Um, when it gets to panel boards, there are limitations based on the bus size and the panel board, and then the location of that overcurrent device for your, your inverter output, whether that's uh, any type of utility interactive inverter. Uh, so you have a specific location, and that location has been specified the opposite end mm -hmm. from the main breaker. So we've always had this issue with what do you do with center-fed, center main breaker panels? And what we found across the country is that some jurisdictions allowed it, some jurisdictions prohibited it, and, and Not consistent. it just wasn't consistent. Um, and so it was really a sort of a, a difficult situation because the replacement of the service panel sometimes was cost prohibitive of the, the solar renewables going installed. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that would prevent the entire project. Right, So I think this is one of the best things that the code has done to address this issue and really sort of aligns. It allows you to install this inverter uh, overcurrent device at either end, but not both ends uh, within the panel board that's center fed. And, and I know the code panel rights have, have looked at this one pretty extensively to make sure that we're creating a safety issue, right? I think when they, when they looked at both ends, uh, when they put that in, it was a very conservative approach uh, as they as they looked at that calculation, and, and I think they they did a good job of looking at this one as well to to understand what does that load do, what does that what does that alternate source uh, do to to the potential safety of of supplying more power to that bus structure than should be you know than potentially it should be on there, and so I still think 120 percent here rule is is pretty conservative with regard to what, what's permitted there, and, and I think the panel did a good job of, of looking at that. You have to look at uh, the magnitude of your alternate power source, the magnitude of your source, and the magnitude of your load, and and which way the current's flowing in those, yeah. along those bus bars to actually understand the intent of this article and, uh, and what, what, the, uh, what requires analysis and what the risks are.